Carlo can't get anywhere near the ball. And there is the final whistle after the most dramatic of games here in Lan Lira. Extra time. So All-Ireland semi-final coming up. We're down to that stage again. You've played in four All-Ireland finals, so the drive drive for five, I suppose, is what you're after at this stage. Can you believe that you're here and going for a fifth? Um, yeah, well, it's, it's always great to get the semi-final stage. As soon as you get out of the group, um, you can kind of reset your focus um, and go from there. But, yeah, it's... Um, Trying to trying to push on the bigger and better things. Um, so Carlo are, are a great side, um, and we took extra time to get past them last year, and they probably remember that very well, and we remember it very well too. So um, I'd say it'll be a very tough tough game. There's very little between the last four teams. Yeah, mentioning the last four teams on the other side, you're from Anna in there as well, and you know all about them from this year up against Limerick. Yeah, um, both for Man and Limerick, there's only a couple of points between us. We played for Man a few times this year. It's always um, a big game. We know each other inside out, um, but it never makes the game any easier for either side. So, um, yeah, I'd imagine both games will be two entertaining games. Um, I'd, I doubt there'll be very much between them, but hopefully we come out on the right side of it. When you look back at your great memories, of course, of 2009 and 2012, we'll not talk about the two after that, but it's all about getting to Crow Park, isn't it? And you're just one step away. I mean, what does that still do for you at this stage of your career? Yeah, like, um, I kind of try and put the Crow Park side. It's great getting there. Um, it's lovely. It's more getting to the final, and you want to win the final, regardless of uh, where it's at, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I think every... All Ireland final you get into is as good as the last. Um, you would love to get ten more if you could. Uh, so yeah, that's it's great. Um, it's great to be All Ireland semi stage. So hopefully these days keep going. <laughs> is there any way you can compare the setup, say 13 years that is ago now that you were there for the 2009 final, to the setup now and maybe the makeup of the players, the age profiles? I don't know. Is there any comparisons you can make? It's more. To, it's more around the coverage of it. Um, there's. Back then, it was probably you were telling people you're in All Ireland final. Where now people know that you're at the All Ireland semi final stage, and they're reading about it and seeing about it and stuff. So, um, even last year, the support we got was brilliant, um, and that was just from people seeing it um, and the media coverage and stuff. So, that's that makes a big difference um, in terms of what the teams are like. The work rate's still there. It's, it's getting um, more professional, hopefully, by the year. Um, so. Yeah, it's, it's making massive positive steps. And you this time as captain, what are your responsibilities this time or how do you feel about leading this team? Yeah, there's there's loads of leaders in the team um, and it's just about getting the girls rounded up and making sure everybody's singing off the same hymn sheet, um, especially whenever we're on the pitch. So, um, yeah, it's a great honour to have um, and uh, it's, it's a really enjoyable role this season. So, yeah, we're... We'll hopefully, hopefully it'll not finish next Sunday. We'll keep going.